Hello friends and new ones, this is Paul and with me new part 4 about the Gene Galton game creation. Today I have something amazing for you to show, something I did not even imagine. To be honest, I did not expect such great results. It surprised me and blew my mind and I think it will blow yours. It's literary breakthrough in gene research and I am honored and pleased to share it with you today. Before I move on, let me provide you a few great and small interesting news. At first, we are already 97 members in our Wave Hunter group and we just need 3 of you to be 100. So do not hesitate and join this group right now and I will approve your membership already today. To know why to join this group, put the invitation video to this group and decide. We are already 138 subscribers and I am really thankful for all of you because the numbers are increasing much more quicker than before. And if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel right now and click the bell to be notified about new upcoming video updates. If you like what you see and found this video interesting and inspiring, give a like. This helps to bring more people to this channel on YouTube and other social media. So give a like and feel free to provide your comments in the links below or put your suggestions. I don't want to distract you but there is also a second channel where you can watch after this video a new video called Interface and it's related to the WorldSense project. You are also welcome to subscribe to this channel too. The links is also in the description and we are already 17 subscribers here and during last week I got 10 so it's really good success and I'll be glad if you'll be interested and join this channel as well. If you like what I do, become my patron on Patreon or just donate my project simply via Paypal me. The links are in the description of this video. And now I am ready to begin, so let's get started and jump directly into the game. So if we look here and compare it, you can see that there are more buttons and more parameters than before. And this game is almost finished and let me show how it works step by step. So let's put the number of layers, this is the size of the Galton board or in fact size of the pyramid. Then we click load and the pyramid is there and we have something more here. This is the chance to put the pattern we are looking for. So I mark it by single letter P. It's a sign of the pattern and I can or I should put here just the number 1 or 0 representing the pattern I want. So I put here for example 1, 0 and 1. Now I need to load the pattern into the system to the memory. So I will click the pattern and it's written here that the pattern is loaded. And for the first time I switched on monitoring and stepping. So I will do it step by step. And you will see that we have first hit where we got zero and uh, this is equal with the pattern. Also the length of the pattern is now equal to 1 and the ratio is the length divided by number of layers, it's 0.33. So we move on and we got a second hit. So we have length 2 and the ratio changed. And we move on, the length is 3 because we got 3 hits after the other 
so without any interruptions and then it's counted when it's interrupted a new hit we get then it's not counted together so we got two hits and it's not counted there to get a total hit we have to have matches from the top to the bottom everything should be green so let's let's click more often and see see if we get it i hope i will not need to click so often so we got first hit like it's matching every number here and the first hit is here and there is a percentage of the hit so it is the one from 26 is three percent it corresponds to three percent the maximum length until now we reached number four and we can continue i will make it a little bit quicker so i will disable stepping and start it you see we are getting already hits here so we have the percentage is around 2% we have 10 hits from almost uh, 500 and the maximum length is 6 and this is one of things that really amazed me and surprised me that the length of the pattern is much more longer than the number of layers it's now three times longer is already 11 and in relation to gene you know we are putting the history there and we are trying to get as much hits as possible and then according to this we assume that there will be the same pattern or the predicted numbers so this is one of small proofs that really it is longer than until the point the last point i would say when the last numbers were drawn so that is the representation with three layers and let's make it with five layers so i will put number five here i will clean the interface by the way this is a new button here that can be used to clean it and start from beginning so what I need to do just to load it, so we have 5 layers and 5 chances to make the pattern, so let's make it and I will make something, something like this. And here we have it and we need to load the pattern so it was loaded and we can start, I will start again with the stepping so you can see how this works. So the length now the maximum we got two and now we got three because it continues from below in chain and up so we will see how long it will be and now it was interrupted so the new length we should wait for more matches and we will see now we got three matches and we can still continue but you see now the advantage of the computer that it's much more quicker than to do these things manually so in history it was not even possible to think this way and use it for some purpose i will make it again quicker and start it and we got already length 7 it's 0.7 percentage 3 hits in total 5 hits so it's increasing and now let me make it much faster so i switch off the monitoring and every 10,000 cycles the values and parameters are updated so we have a uh, a lot of hits so it has found this pattern more than 1000 times the percentage is around 0.6 percent and uh, the maximum length and you can see this again what amazed me is already 21 and it's four times longer than the whole pyramid and this is really really amazing so that's 
the breakthrough I wanted to share with you and I am really curious how I will be able to implement such knowledge in the new gene update. Now I will end it and I will try the last cotton board with 10 layers and uh, we can clean it, we can do it again and just make the simplest pattern I can really do. So it's one zero one zero and it's repeated and let's see what we will get. I need to load the pattern into the memory and then I can start it. I will just start as always with the monitoring on so we can see at least two or three balls just you see the second ball has the same path like the first one now the blue ball is falling down and you see we got these matches as it was switching here so we are getting green here and we got in total six hits so it's 0.6 and no total hits until now because i'm doing that manually let's watch the last last is the yellow and a switch off the stepping and start to run it now you see we do not have any hits it's more difficult to get it as it's longer but if i switch off monitoring then we get much higher speed it's more than 10,000 cycles per second so you see how it's growing the number of cycles and we got already almost 20 hits it's 0.00 0.01 percent and the maximum length is 16 it's more than one so it's longer than 10 let's say so the ratio is 1.7 at this moment but soon i believe it will be more than two so let's little bit wait and we will see so it's really anyway really incredible this result because we what we need to know how long it's uh, after the galton board and the same is how long it's after the history matching in the gene so there are two very similar things and i'm really curious when i will disassemble these numbers into the binary code like we have in this galton board and what results i'll be able to achieve we have now the length 19 it's almost two times more than number of layers so that's almost everything i wanted to show the game is almost finished and i plan to add the graph with uh, to show the distribution of the balls and maybe some interesting parameters so there you have it thank you for watching and your attention if you missed something just replay it and before i finish let me repeat something i said already in the beginning of this video so join this wave hunters group as i said right now and watch the invitation video to know why and subscribe to this channel click the bell and give like if you found this interesting as i said it will help to reach more people after this video you can watch video from my second channel the link is in the description and you can also subscribe to this channel as well finally if you like what i do support me on patreon or donate my projects via paypal me and finally feel free to provide your comments and suggestions into the comment line below this video i am at the end and that's it 
take care and see you all in another new video, probably part 5. Bye.